It, it's such an honor to come to a place where we formerly lived to see it so respectfully presented in the way that they do here at the Okmulgee National Monument. The attendance of the nation, and for me in particular here this year, is that uh, we were invited to come. Um, the principal chief has never been a part of the celebration that's held on an annual basis, and it's been held for, for more than 35 years. And so um, there's been months in planning. The reason that we wanted to come here um, is that we wanted to make sure that we showed the people of our homeland what we do with our own culture, that it's still alive, that we're still here, that we didn't disappear. And um, so the things that we've done today by um, get, ta introducing our royalty, talking about our government, um, the exhibition of the dancing, were things that we could share our culture with other people. Uh, we also brought down uh, staff from the Red Stick Gallery so that we could actually sell some things that are produced by um, Muskogee artists. So, but, but most importantly, I think the purpose is probably for us because I think everybody who has come here today, and we probably have 30 people here, um, really feels a connection to this area. And we had occupied this area uh, for the past 500 years, and it's been documented this is, this is exclusive Muskogee land here. So we're very pleased to be here. It's a very nice day. Uh, my name is Lania Davis, and I'm the Cultural Resources Specialist here at Okmulgee National Monument, but I'm also today as, uh, functioning as the MC for the Okmulgee Indian Celebration. Uh, this is the 26th year of this event, and this is basically a homecoming for the Muscogee uh, Creek people because this was sovereign territory into the Muscogees into, uh, it was set aside by President Thomas Jefferson in 1805. Well, this event was basically, it initially started 26 years ago as actually 28 years because we had actually had to cancel two because of natural disasters. Uh, but this year we also almost had to cancel it because of her, uh, tropical storm Irma but the event itself is basically it is to dispel myths we want to tell the story of the American Indians and not you know mainly the Muscogees but all of the Southeast American Indians that was forcefully removed from the Southeast United States because what a lot of people don't realize is when Andrew Jackson was elected president in 1829 one of the first bills he pushed through Congress was the Indian Removal Act and this re act removed all of the Southeast American Indians to what is now Oklahoma and with this event, what we do is we actually get the local population, they come in, they get a chance to meet the, the uh, people, the representatives of all these tribes, and they get to dispel the myths. Because a lot of times people have a tendency, Hollywood has just you know, basically messed them up because they automatically assume that all Indians you know, lived in teepees and you all rode horses, but yet they don't really realize that all of these are very distinct individual cultures. And this, is a, this event is actually a chance for these uh, people to actually get to meet uh, people of these different cultures and different groups. So basically dispel those myths. Okay, my name is John John Brown. Um, we came down here, we brought a stomp dance group to do an exhibition dance and to kind of spread a little bit of that with the culture, yes. This is almost like Alabama. I mean, it's a, it, I, I don't want to say it's a homecoming, but, but for what has happened and for a chance to come back and see and be a part of it, I mean, there's a there's a strong feeling when you when you start crossing into these states and so for this one this was another place that I wanted to see um, the chunky stones that I'm getting research on the canoes that I'm getting research on uh, even the bows and, and some of the material that they have um, the first thing this morning I found a buckeye tree so I got me a pocket full of buckeyes uh, already posted it on Facebook. A lot of friends back home are already saying they want some. So um, to find special things like that, and, and especially here, you know, back in the homelands, if you will, it, it's special.